Welcome to the fifth and final episode in my series of a hike that starts at McLean Mill National Historic Site near Port Alberni. In previous episodes, you saw that I started my hike at the railway spur, which enters the mill property, and I walked my way along the mill spur until I got to the pathway to take me up into the historic site. Walking across the creek and beside the log pond is always a treat for the senses, the sound of the creek and that beautiful scene of the log pond and the chute. I love that. And then I made my way out the back of the mill property and through the woods and emerged into a recently logged area as I headed towards the Beaufort Slope. I connected to the log train trail and that's a lovely trail that I have to explore more in the future. But for now, it was just a short distance to help me to get up towards the railway. My trail up to the Beauforts branched off to the left. It was rather steep, but it's one of my favorites because I know the steepness doesn't last forever. And there are some really nice uh, rocky areas with a lovely waterfall creek area too, to enjoy and catch my breath at. And soon I was leaving the rocky creek part of the trail behind and getting close to the railway. At this point I was huffing and puffing like a steam engine. And then the railway came into sight at about mile 29.65 on the Port Alberni subdivision, and I would head eastward to the right. There were very few windfall tree obstacles that I encountered that day. This one was really easy to get past, and it was onward eastward, heading into some really interesting and familiar places, such as the mile 28. Point nine bridge uh, with lovely moss and leaves adorning the bridge deck. For a while I was walking into the foggy sunlight which made for a real interesting effect on my camera and later on I was walking through the original grade of an area that was later bypassed. I love walking in old history such as this spot. Another spot that's meaningful to me is this lookout over the Alberni Valley with the railway visible as it heads there and you can think of the potential of the railway serving the Alberni Valley. When I got to the BC Hydro electricity lines it was almost time for my turnaround. I just went on a little bit further after this. And here I was in a broomy area Time to turn around and start heading back west. The track culvert is always a favorite place of mine, especially when there's water running through it, which doesn't happen year round. Soon I was at the mile 29.9 timber frame trestle, a beautifully curved trestle, but in pretty poor shape up top. One of my favorite things to do on this structure when videoing is to do the zoom in on the creek below and then zoom out, show you where my feet are, where I'm at, and then to pan over and show you the entire structure. I never get tired of doing that. And now it's time for episode five. I'll show you the maps and stuff at the end of the episode. And here's that moment where we come out of the woods into the sunshine. This is near the end of my time here on the railway. But soon I'll be heading down the uh, little logging ATV road, heading back down to the log train trail. That's where the ATV road goes up the hill. Every time I've been here in the last year, and I've been about to ready to switch off here and head down the, the road, I've commented that up ahead, I haven't been since October 2021. And that, hey, I'll try it next time, but that's not gonna happen. Right. It's brutal with tall, thick broom for two miles or so. And uh, I'm not doing that. And I'm not doing that now until, uh, 
autumn after we get a frost in autumn 2023 at the earliest so yeah i'll wait and see it'll be two years then since i had seen it that's where i come in from smith road walk around the big uh curve that then gains elevation and starts coming up but we'll switch off here this is an atv road popular it is saturday it is middle of the day so i am alert and aware and ready to get out of the way here's the tracks speaking of that here comes a side by side pretty darn quiet I'll just make sure I find a spot to be safe It's always fun seeing side by sides. This is where I'm careful walking. Steep downhill, loose gravel and dirt. Short strides. Hey, okay, coming down to that intersection. Left and right is the log train trail. I'm going left. Straight ahead, this little road continues, I think, to Smith Road. Ah, it's good to be back here. As the name suggests, Log Train Trail. Well, this was the Alberni Pacific Lumber Company Railway. Sorry if I got that name wrong the APL's railway grade. That's why it's flat and straight, easy to walk on. It's one of the roads and trails that goes down to McLean Mill, but I'm gonna stay on the log train trail because I like this bridge coming up. So if you go up that trail, you'll get up to the trestle that I was just at. And here's the creek that flows under that trestle. like this area of standing water right here and here I am back at that intersection that I was at this morning with the signs telling me where to go and I went up there up on the left That's where I went. Okay, let's go to McLean's Mill. As a person who's drafted financial documents for a living, I'm always curious about the proper use of apostrophes, etc. So McLean's Mill, McLean Mill, McLean's apostrophe S. It's always interesting how place names evolve. I love this transition spot on the log train connector trail where we leave the forest and come into a more recently logged area. Oh yeah, let's leave the forest behind and head down here towards McLean Mill. Yeah, there's the slope. Underneath that logging area, that's where the railway is. 
Here's another further on back look at the slope. The McLean Steam Donkey. When I was here between 7.45 and 8 this morning, no one else was around. Now there's people. That's what happens in the afternoon. Yeah, the mill building. This is what I think they call the green chain. Slowly falling apart. Nice view. Some snow at the top of the mountain. But no snow seen by me on my hike today. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time. Here's the location big picture, Vancouver Island on the west coast of British Columbia. And the red circle is the location of my hike north of the city of Port Alberni. And here's a mid-range view of central Vancouver Island, the ENN's Port Alberni subdivision going from Parksville on the right to Port Alberni on the left. And the red circle is the area that I'm hiking. Here's the start and end of my hike, McLean Mill National Historic Site off Smith Road in the Alberni Valley. My outbound leg going from the mill site up to the ENN, arriving at the railway at about mile uh, 29.65 and going eastward to about mile 26.75. And then the blue part is near the end of my hike where I continue back up to the trestle and beyond to about mile 30.2 and then down a series of trails back to the McLean Mill site. So here is a closer look at the McLean Mill site area and my route through the site and a series of trails up to the railway. And then here's my route from the railway back down to McLean Mill, as you just saw in this episode. And here's a closer look at the trail system from the railway at the top, working my way down to McLean Mill parking lot at the bottom.